are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting at a couple of Hawaii, Bo Crusher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice one, two there. And he landed the right hand there. Over and over, he landed his big body kick. Just out of range with that strike. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. 
face punch by Ali. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Big kick. Nice shot to the body there. Nice great punch. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Is forward with a left there. Oh! Zeus hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh! Real nice body. Oh, misses with the jab. comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. And they both stand up. And they separate. Look at the turtles in that kick. from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip and he landed with all the force that he could muster. I'm surprised he didn't knock him out with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Punch is blocked. Nice body kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Seconds now remain in the round. 15 seconds. Beautiful body just lands right under the elbow. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by Lee. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, here we go with round two. Nice loop and punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Nice kick. Whoa! Whoa! Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night.
Oh, straight right. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Luke. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big left hook there. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Out of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree and beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. What a punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Takes him down. Takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a mixed uh -huh. martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Let's go. Push, push, push. Get free. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. My goodness! Nice one there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Already closes the distance, gets a single collar tie. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, huge knee to the head. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Big kick land. Worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. And they separate. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. 
All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Punch over the top. Just missed with the left there. Straight left counter is true. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice slip to avoid that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Sneaky head kick. Got slip with the right hand. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, collar tie. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Nice punch by Lou. Three minutes to go in the round. Right punches there. Straight right hand, no good. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates the head outside to a high crotch. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. And he's back. To the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Inside leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Digging kick. Oh, nice. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 15 seconds. Oh, just misses with the kick. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. That's three. 
three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, that's the pick. The score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any. Oh, oh man. man. That's a perfect body shot there. He's just unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his over her. Beautiful kick. Oh! You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. <laughs> nice jab by him there. He's going over the top. This fight's going to be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high on the but he's going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Good stick. Liver and kick. both guys really throwing with authority. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut. He just moves his ear. It doesn't take much. He just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Beautiful punch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a... Oh! Oh! Right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Knee to the body. Beautiful body kick. Oh! Superman punch. Two minutes remain in the round. Great punch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this Oh, fight. he might be out. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> relax, relax. Nice punch, Lance. How good is that right hand? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Big liver kick lands under the elbow.
attacks there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Big kick lands. Oh, what a punch. It's such a fast leg kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Real quick leg kick. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. I mean, he's cutting him down. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to show up the defense here. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here. Oh, oh he takes that knockout line. He takes the knockout line. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near-perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number five. To play the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.